Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I want to share with you something quite interesting that I've noticed over the years when checking the directions of the individual skincare products. And this is that they can change depending on where you're from. Now I'm mainly talking about those larger companies that are available in different countries where they uh, even can change the packaging in, this, in that specific language or even the website. And so as an example, I'm going to go with Vichy's Mineral 89 Hyaluronic Acid Booster. Again, this is just purely an example but it just should make you aware of that depending on where you're from you're reading completely different directions and so I want to get started with the UK website and we're looking into the French website the Dutch the German and then lastly the one in the US so that we can see how they individually recommend on how you're supposed to use the product even though it's the same company which to some extent is extremely funny but on the other hand extremely sad and confusing because why can't they just give you like one guide and that's basically basically it because most often it's not even useful and so we're going to check the UK website right here as you can see so below it mentions the how to apply guide so apply every morning to clean dry skin as a first step of your skincare routine follow with your usual zero moisturizer or SPF as the mineral 89 hyaluronic acid booster prepares the skin for the next step of your beauty regimen so they're basically just referencing right here an example morning skincare routine that you have to apply to clean and dry skin and that you're going to use it as the first step in your morning skincare routine as they, um, I guess, assume that you have other skincare products as well and then those would follow afterwards. Now let's look into another example and therefore we're going to check out the French website. Well, right here below, it mentions an example of a morning as well as evening skincare routine. So we have already some changes right here. So in the morning, you're supposed to use the serum on clean and dry skin, and they give you even directions on how much you should use. So use about one to two pumps of the serum and then apply it all over your face and neck. Then for the evening, they emphasize that it's best to follow with a moisturizer that they recommend afterwards and even an eye cream. So that's again quite interesting. Um, it's similar to the UK website, they emphasize apply it to clean and dry skin, but this time they're giving specific directions on how much you're supposed to use. So either go with one pump for your face and neck, or if that shouldn't be enough, add another pump to it, and then there you have your amount that you're supposed to use. And one thing that they do not say in the morning routine is when you should use the zone and if it's fine to use the zone on its own or if you have to follow with anything else afterwards because in the evening they tell you well it's best to follow with a moisturizer and eye cream um, later on like once you have applied the zone. So again you can already see from the UK website to the French website that there are already some significant changes on how you're supposed to use the zone. Then when looking into the Dutch website, well below they emphasize right here that you should apply the Mineral 89 on clean skin and it's going to be the first step in your morning skin routine. Now again, it's similar to the, U uh, to the UK website. They uh, tell you just apply to clean skin. They do not emphasize if the skin needs to be dry, damp or wet, which is actually the controversial part on a hyaluronic acid zone on how you're supposed to apply it to the skin. Plus, they do not give you any directions on how much you're supposed to use. They just tell you first step in your morning skin care routine, that's it. Then when looking into the German um, example, well, right here they mention that you should use the hyaluronic acid booster as your first step in your daily skincare routine. And then they describe the texture of the zone, that it's a very lightweight texture, that it's extremely moisturizing and has anti-aging properties. And that's why you can use it every morning and evening on a clean skin and then gently massage it all over your face. Now, it's extremely weird why they explain the texture of the zone because it has nothing to do with, te with uh, the entire application. They do not tell you if you are going to specifically use it only on clean skin or has the skin to be like again dry or damp or even wet. And why do they tell you that you have to gently massage it onto the skin? I mean, as if that wouldn't change anything on how you're going to apply it all over your face and neck. Plus, they do not give you a guide of how much you should use. Now, I kept the last website as my last example because that's the, like, in my opinion, the most funniest um, description how you're supposed to use this zone. And right here on the US website, they tell you, well, apply two drops 
of hyaluronic acid booster on your skin after cleansing morning and evening so again they're not talking about pumps they're talking about drops so we have one drop two drops that's it so only go with two drops and then apply it to your skin after cleansing again they do not tell you does it have to be dry damp or wet and but they will tell you that you can use it in the morning and the evening then below that they emphasize well once you have applied it to the skin you're going to spread it with outward movements from the middle of the face without applying too much pressure so you're going to give yourself kind of like a gentle massage but do not press too hard because otherwise it may harm your skin and then as the last point they emphasize well it can be used as a first step in your skin routine or as a lightweight moisturizer so here they tell you it can be as used as a serum or moisturizer so depending on what skincare products you may have you're going to use it as a first step or last step or they basically will emphasize that it's fine to use it on its own and then it's going to be your moisturizing step so with all those examples that I have shared with you you can see that the directions can dramatically change on how you're supposed to use such products and again it's not only with the Vicious Minimum 89 Hyaluronic Acid Booster I've seen it already with cleansers with moisturizers with other zones where it just makes the entire story so much more complicated uh, than just giving you the same directions doesn't matter in what language if it's for coming from the same company and so to some extent I'm questioning if they are doing it based on marketing purposes um, and on, on, the other, on the other hand I'm just thinking well it may just be going to the headquarters in the different countries and then they just getting like some like like extremely basic information and then they are able to lay it out as they want and based on that they're going to create the directions so again all what I want to emphasize right here is that it can be quite confusing if some of the directions sound just so weird that you cannot follow them check it check it basically on a different website so that you then can hopefully get more directions on how you're supposed to use the individual skincare products nonetheless if you want to learn more on how you're supposed to work with your hyaluronic acid serum or even toner to some extent i've just recently done a very in-depth video on hyaluronic acid itself which i'm going to leave at the end of this video so that you can learn more about it now, i do hope that you enjoyed this video that you find it helpful so again pay attention to where you're getting your information from if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it and i will see you soon in the next one happy skin caring bye